What's going on guys? Y'all know who it is. Affordable Tech back at you with another video. And I'm a little late on this. I just wanted to do an iPhone 7 smart battery case versus the eBay one. This one was $90 on Amazon and this one was $14.50. So I've used both of these for some time now and I wanted to give my honest thoughts. So let's start with the eBay one. The one that's 15 bucks, all right? So let's put this off to the side. As you can see, this one doesn't really have much of a design to it. It's just a battery case. The inside has this really cheap feeling suede material. Uh, you have some of their writing here. It has your capacity, input, output, USB, blah, blah, blah. So the capacity on this one is 10,000 milliamps which would let you charge your phone about nearly four times. You might get three, three and a half. So that is a pro versus this one, the Apple Smart Battery Case, because this one only has around 24, 2500. So it'll give you one full charge. This one would give you about three and a half. All right, so there's one pro about the eBay one. All right, so second, I'm gonna put this into my phone so you can see. So this is what it looks like in the phone. You're not getting much of a protection, I would say, because if you were to drop this on the floor, it would hit on this glass protection. There's no lip covering the front of the phone. That's, that's not good. So if you were to keep this battery case on your phone, you could potentially break your phone if you were to drop it. Everything's exposed, this outer frame, the buttons, you know, so it's, it doesn't offer much protection. Another pro of this versus this is this has on off switch as you can see right here. So you press that, it'll start charging. So you can choose when you want to charge. You can also see how much battery percentage is left on the case. You don't get to see it on here, you'd have to uh, so scroll down on your notifications. So that's another pro. You can see how much battery is left on the case itself without having to unlock the phone and stuff. A con of this eBay case is you can see it charges via micro USB. So if you wanted to charge your phone, you'd have to take the phone out, charge the phone, and then charge the case separately. Versus the iPhone battery case, the Apple one, you have the lightning port adapter so you can just plug one cord in while it's still in the case and it'll charge both the case and the phone. What else can I say about this? Uh, this one, cheap one from eBay, has a little stand right here where you could kick this out and have your phone like this. This might be a deal breaker for some of you guys because I know a lot of people like to watch videos and play games and stuff so if you're looking into this, the Apple does not have that. It doesn't, they don't have anything here. But overall, in terms of design, this one, the cheap eBay one, is horrible. Like, you, you can't hold it like this. It's not comfortable in your hand. The material is a hard case, but it's, it has a little silicone soft feel to it. It feels like if you were to drop it, though, this thing could break. I haven't tried that out. It also has a USB port right here. You can plug a USB cord into here and charge something else using the battery in this case. So that, that's pretty handy that the Apple case does not have. But once again, this case is $14.50. This one right here is $90. So you're looking at a huge price difference. This one charges your phone three to four times. This one only charges your phone once. One to one and a half, maybe. So, as you guys know about the Apple case, um, it is $90. You can see the inside of this is like a really nice suede material. Uh, this one is really cheap feeling. This one is really premium, so you do get what you pay for. Here's the, you can see the battery, the bump here. And I actually do like this design. It really does feel nice in my hand. This one feels horrible. It's just like one big brick. But this one, you can actually rest your fingers kind of on top of the battery, and it feels nice. You also have two speakers here. And the iPhone speakers are facing down, these speakers are facing towards you, so it redirects the sound to come towards you. I felt like this made the sound a little bit better because it's coming towards you instead of face down. So to put this into your phone, 
or to put your phone into this, you simply just bend back this top part like that and just slide the phone in. And that's it. So I want you guys to see this. I took it back out. So once you push it down, you'll see the case battery on the left and you'll see the phone battery on the right. So they are case 100% remaining iPhone 100% charged. Let me start out with my pros about this case. Obviously, the design. It's much smaller than the cheap eBay one. Uh, it feels much better in your hand. It is a lot more thinner. Doesn't weigh as much. Feels good in your hand. It's a silicone material. It's soft. So it, it's, it's nice in your hand. I really do like it. Battery is another good thing. It obviously doesn't last as long as the eBay charger but the battery is a good thing about this because it still gives me the whole day usually until 9 to 10 p.m. I'll run out of the case battery and I'll still have 100% battery on my phone but keep that in mind that the eBay case charger has uh, about three times as much battery as this Apple case charger also about this design is everything is protected the case comes out in front of the iPhone so if you were to lay it flat on the phone so if you were to lay this phone flat on a table, it will be resting on the case and not the actual iPhone. So that gives you really good protection if you were to drop it. Um, nothing. I don't think it would break. I haven't dropped it yet. so, And I'm not going to drop test it. The camera is also protected by the case. As you can see, the case comes out in front of the camera. So if you were to place it down, the camera is not going to hit. It's the case. All the buttons have good uh, tactile. You could hear it. Everything clicks really well. You can reach your silent switch pretty easily. So, just a quick summary. If you don't really care about the design and you just want a case to give you extra battery, I would recommend getting this eBay one because you can put this on when you need the battery. You can turn it on and off when you want and it'll give you three times of charge versus one time compared to the Apple iPhone case. If you do care about the design and you're going to keep this on your phone and not take it off, I would recommend getting the Apple battery case. It is a little bit more expensive. You can look on eBay to get it for around $70 to $80. Um, it's more expensive, but then you get what you pay for and it's, it's really not that bad in your hand, I thought. Uh, depends on the size of your hand. I thought it wasn't that bad because I can just hold it like this. Yes, it is bigger. Yes, it's going to weigh a little bit more. But that's the price you got to pay if you want double the battery. So all in all, I do recommend this Apple product. But if you're not going to keep the case on your phone, I would recommend getting the eBay one. It does the job. Uh, it still gives you battery. And you can choose when to turn it on and off by this button versus the Apple one. You can. So as soon as you put the iPhone in this case, it will keep your phone at 100% until the case battery dies. So that was kind of add to me because I wanted to be able to control when I wanted to turn on and off the case, but you don't have that option with the Apple case. This one you do. That's it for this review, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. This has been Affordable Tech. Peace.